Hey guys, welcome back to part two. In this video we're going to fix the fans and look at threading the incubator heat cable. Um, but one thing I do need to do is secure this incubator in place because once you've removed all the gas components, it, these doors are really heavy and they will. I will want to topple over, even more so when you turn it to the side. So first things first, I've just got to get this strap down while I'm working on it. Because I don't want it falling on my head. Right then, I've got that secured in place. I've just used a, a ratchet strap and strapped it to the door. As you can see, it's not going anywhere. We're going to take our fan now, we want to roughly mark where we want it to go. Well, right, the way we're going to fix these same way as we connected them together it's just a couple of zip ties here and suspending them by hooks that way I can alter the direction of the fans by tightening the zip ties whether I have it pointing down slightly to the front or even pointing to the back which is most likely the way I'm going to go Right, we've got our four hooks installed. I've put some zip ties on the fans. Just put these on. Sorry if I'm in the way. There we go, just slightly angled towards the back. We should be fine. In the last video, you saw me connect the cable, joined it all together just to test it. Um, I should have threaded it through the hole first before I started shrink wrapping, but you learn. Just thread this at the back. I'll reconnect that wire later. So there you have it, there's the fans installed. I was thinking about a way how to connect the, um, the heat cable. I think what I'm going to do is use a series of hooks, have it come through the hole, and then sort of weave it down. Do that way. I've got a 9 metre cable. Should be plenty enough to heat this thing. Right, what I've done, I've marked out where the hooks are going to go. I've also pre drilled them. Before we put the hooks in, I'm going to disinfect it with F10 first. 
It's going to make life a lot easier to do it before I put the hooks in. I won't film now, that's just boring stuff. Well, this is the heat cable we're going to be using. We got it from the internet, Swell Reptiles. This one is 80 watts, 9 meters in length. I'm going to thread this first through the back, that way there's no cutting of the wires. It should be fairly simple. The first, I'm just going to get these hooks in. Okay, all the hooks are installed. I'm just going to thread the heat cable. I'm not going to film this um, because for where I can set up my camera, I'm just going to be in the way. So you'll get the general idea. The cable will come through here. That's that ratchet trap that's secured in the, the fridge. It'll come through here, from there, up, here, there, there, there. You kind of get the idea. So I'll get this done and then I'll show you when I've finished. Right, the heat cable's in. As you can see that I've weaved it in and out. You think that nine meters will go a long way. It doesn't. Hopefully that's plenty enough. I will run it without a thermostat. Uh, probably for the night, put an incubator in there just to make sure it's getting above the temperature that I want. So that once the thermostat is installed, that will control it. Um, I had a slight alteration to the fans. As before, I had a couple of uh, zip ties on, leave it dangling. It was a little too loose for my liking in the end. So I've just zip tied them nice and tight to the hooks. They're running. Giving off a nice circulation. So guys, that's it for part two. Um, the next video, we'll install the thermostat shelves and we'll seal up some of these holes. And then it'll be ready for testing. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, if you've not already subscribed, please do so. Hit that notification bell for future videos. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.